I'm David Carno, executive editor for CNET.com, and I'm here with another pair of headphones. These are the modestly priced Soul Republic Jacks. This is a $40 model. It is an in-ear headphone, and if you've never heard of Soul Republic, it made a little bit of a splash with its Trax headphones. Those are the headphones that Michael Phelps was wearing during the Olympics. It's a relatively new company, and this is really the company's second generation in-ear headphone, and I actually liked it a lot, though it does look cheaper than its price point would indicate. These actually do have a very plastic design. The housing is plastic. Um, it has a nice flat tangle resistant cord. The inline remote is also a little bit cheap looking. Um, the build quality just doesn't inspire a tremendous amount of confidence, but there is an inline remote and microphone, which is a nice feature to have for making cell phone calls. Because of their inexpensive look, I really didn't have high expectations for their sound quality, but when I tried them on, I was pleasantly surprised. They do fit well in your ears. They're lightweight. Soul Republic's tracks are known for their bass. It's very strong bass, a little bit too overemphasized for me, but these were more restrained, and I really did like their sound for the money. So if you can overlook the fact that these do headphones look a little bit cheap, uh, they do offer good sound quality. I did think they offered sound quality of headphones that cost almost as twice as much. If these were priced more in the $25 to $30 range, I probably would have rated them a little bit higher, uh, but as it stands, uh, they do sound good for the money, um, and I rated them at 3.5 stars. I'm David Carnoy, and those are the Soul Republic Jacks in your headphones. Thanks for watching.